All right, in this four minute Tabata cardio circuit, we're gonna be doing four movements that are all high intensity, low impact, safe in the joints, and great cardio training that will complement some of the strength workouts. They won't tax your muscles, you'll get a lot of calorie burn going, accelerate fat loss, allow your muscles to recover from some of the more strength-based exercises that we did. You'll want a low box or bottom of a staircase, a phone book also works nicely for this right here, something with a slight elevated surface, and then ideally a three by five space. It's body weight only, so you will need no uh, equipment to do this work already. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, repeated eight times for a four minute Tabata blast of an exercise that will truly rock your world. Let's start. Station number one is gonna be the skater jump variation. We're gonna start level one, two point skater jump. Let's get the basic movement pattern down first. Triple bends in the ankles, knees, and hips. I'm gonna slide across here each side like a speed skater here, ice skater. This triple bend in the ankles, knees, and hips so we're not stiff-legged. Fantastic way of training the hip, working the outer glute, plus we're gonna do it in a way that will get the heart rate up and going and get you going. So level one is gonna be this two-point skater jump. Here, here. Slide across. I want to stay nice and low with my eyes up so I'm not bending over at the back. I've got two points of contact here. Again, I know if I'm doing this right because I'm feeling the outer hip and outer quad. In level two, I'm going to do a one point skater where this back foot doesn't touch. Side to side, side to side. So one point of contact, sweep across with the arms. Again, glutes get going on that, outer quads are going. Level three, we're gonna turn this into jumping speed skaters. This is an advanced variation of it. Jump, stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it. I'm going for height, speed, and power without getting very sloppy on that right there. Make sure we stick the landing, triple bends in the ankles, knees, and hips. Good landing mechanics, landing heel to midsole. Station number two. I'm going to utilize a low step here to uh, do a squat thrust or what's known in some places as the burden. We're going to do it fine tune a little bit and not do some of the sloppier variations that you've probably seen before. Slight elevation with the hands. Again, a box, low box step, uh, bottom of the staircase works really nice for this. I want to start first in level one, just touch them down right here. So if I can't come all the way to the floor or the box, Touch down, this will be your introductory level. Tap, eyes up, weight on the heels, push back with the butt. In level two, I'm actually gonna palm it, jump it back here, hold that position, jump back up, and stand. I could also step it back here, 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 here. Key is, shoulders should be above the hips at all times. I should never bend over, to get my hands on the floor, that is critical. Otherwise, back issues are not far behind me. So it's here, again, here's the first sticking point. Second one is right here, tight abs, tight glutes. Push down with the palms really hard. Jump those feet up, elbows should be inside the knees. Knees are pushed out, push the heels and stand up. That's level two. In level three, I simply integrate an explosive jump to make it more dynamic. So it's here, 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 here. Nice and soft. Jump back. Soft, soft. Knees are out at all times. Stick it, stick it, boom. That's your more advanced variation. Make sure you master level one and two before you get onto that one. Station number three. We then moved into the in and out squat. Start here, hips back butt back, chest out, thumbs turned outward so that we don't inwardly rotate our shoulders. I'm gonna step out and tap, tap, tap. Big time burn that we're going in the quadriceps, front of the thighs. That's your kind of low impact variation. Level two, I'm gonna go in and out, squat jumps. So again here, jump it out, jump it in. Here, here, keep turning those thumbs out, cue the chest. Don't get too wide with the feet, otherwise we, there's a tendency to 
cave in with the knees, something we don't want. In and out, push back. My clients love that move, by the way. They love it. They actually hate it. Level three, we're going to make this multi-directional, multi-planar. So forward, backwards, in and out of squat jumps. Here, I'm coming forward, I'm coming backwards. Insane move. You can kind of make a Russian dance. Get a little Eastern European on that right there. Fantastic move, heart rate, we'll go through the roof on that. We finish off this cardio circuit. This last one was stationary running. So it's gonna start with a march, opposite arm action here, especially if you have issues with your ankles, knees, or hips. You wanna do this march in place, which is low impact. You can kind of skip it also for lower impact. Now, level two, I'm gonna move into a jog. Level three, I'm gonna move into a sprint. So I progress from the march to a low level trot here in level two. Use those arms, hands should come past the hips, chest out. In level three, I will do a high knee sprint, and I can go forward, backwards, or side to side to really increase the demand. Amazing four minute blast, insane cardio, burn nine times more body fat, this type of training, and slow, boring cardio, get after that.